Bond v. United States, 2014. In 1997, the United States ratified the Treaty of the Convention on the Prohibition of the Development, Production, Stockpiling, and Use of Chemical Weapons and on their Destruction. The following year, Congress passed the Chemical Weapons Convention Implementation Act to assign punishments to violators of the treaty. In 2006, Carol Ann Bond, a microbiologist from Lansdale, Pennsylvania, discovered that her best friend, Mirlinda Haynes, was pregnant. When Bond found out that her husband was the father of the child, she stole an arsenic-based compound and purchased potassium dichromate. She spread the chemicals on Haynes's car door, mailbox, and doorknob with the intention of giving her an uncomfortable rash. When Haynes discovered the chemicals and developed a burn on her hand, she contacted law enforcement. Postal inspectors used cameras to film Bond spreading the chemicals around Haynes's home. Bond was charged with using a chemical weapon under federal law. Bond argued that this was a local crime and not a federal issue. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the treaty was not meant for local crimes. The court ruled that the intent of the treaty is to stop the use of chemical weapons and that the federal law was designed to enforce the treaty. However, the intent of the federal law was not to override a clearly state crime. <laughs>